Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the link. Um, you can probably tell from the picture from the uh, from the thumbnail, we're going to build a long, wide planter box with a trellis. Of course, we're going to do it all out of reclaimed wood. These two by tens right here came off some shipping crates that were used to ship. Uh, fabricated metal for a new car dealership downtown. So I was able to get the shipping crates. I'll stick a picture in here so you can see how they started. I broke them all down. This is what we got. I'm going to use the wood and the measurements to help me figure out the dimensions. So right now I'm just going to kind of do some some prep cuts and kind of get it all cut and then we'll assemble it real quick. All right. What I'm doing here is I'm just kind of checking out the boards. I'm going to put a square edge on them. And I'm trying to find a common length to decide how long the overall planter is going to be and how wide. You know, so like I use the wood with the, with the best measurements so I don't waste anything. So here I am still, uh, still figuring, contemplating, kind of trying to check it out. It's a little proof of I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, look at that. Got some tools. Going to get some work done finally. I'm going to square up some edges, start cutting the boards to length. Okay, so you saw me use an obnoxious amount of glue. That's a Type On 3, which you know is you know weatherproof and exterior and it's gonna waterproof up and all. And you saw me leave a big huge bead of glue from the squeeze out on the inside of the box. I'm gonna do I'm gonna just gonna leave it there. Um, I'm not gonna scrape it out or anything because it's gonna make a watertight seal. And of course, since this is untreated wood, we wanna keep water out as much as possible. So that's it's kind of done on purpose. And yes, I know it's a lot of glue. So what we got it's a box so in this box i have these two by tens the depth of about 20 inches i recycled all the two by tens all these three by three posts i reused a whole bunch of pallet nails and i nailed and glued everything together here at the seams between the two two by tens i toe nailed the nails going in two different directions to help the seam uh, kind of stay together a little better. The only thing I really purchased so far is a couple of three inch screws, which I screwed the ends, glued and screwed the ends into these three by three studs or three by three posts. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go get some more nails to quadruple, reinforce it with more nails because you can't ever have enough. 
Then I'm going to sand it down, make it look slightly presentable, and then I'm going to burn it. It's gonna work out fine. It's gonna be great. Watch. That's straight. Need about that much. Right, to be honest, I have no idea how to attach the top. Stand by. Thanks for watching the build of the uh, raised bed trellis planter thingy. I uh, appreciate you sticking around to the end. And uh, we're going to call this one done. I still got to fill it up and plant it and all, but I think that's kind of a different video and kind of different content. So, uh, once again, thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Let's get this YouTube channel rolling. Appreciate you.